Himalayan Cat vs Burmese Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? In all respects but coat pattern, the Himalayan shares the Persian sweet expression and soft round lines. It has a large, round head, large, round eyes, a short nose, full cheeks, and small ears with rounded tips. The head is supported by a short, thick neck and a deceptively sturdy, muscular body, a type known as kabi. A Himalayan's legs are short, thick, and strong with large, round, firm paws. The tail is short but proportional to the length of the cat's body. A long, thick, shiny coat with a fine texture completes the Himalayan's look. It's long all over the body and includes an immense ruff around the neck, a deep frill between the front legs, long ear and toe tufts, and a full brush, or tail. The Himalayan is bred in the following point colors, chocolate, seal, lilac, blue, red, cream torty, blue cream, chocolate torty, lilac cream, seal lynx, blue lynx, red lynx, cream lynx, torty lynx, blue cream lynx, chocolate lynx, lilac lynx, chocolate torty lynx, and lilac cream lynx. The body is various shades of white to fawn with color only on the facial mask and the feet, ears and tail. Unlike the Persian and the exotic, the Himalayan's eyes come in only one color, a deep, vivid blue. Himalayans come in different looks, known as extreme and traditional. Extreme Himalayans, those seen in the show ring, have a flatter face, which may come with breathing problems. Cats with a traditional look have a more old-fashioned appearance, with a face that is not as flat and a nose that is set lower on the face with more of a break, permitting easier breathing. The Burmese are often described as a brick wrapped in silk, a testament to a solid, muscular body. While the original Burmese was a dark solid brown color known as sable, he now comes in other shades as well, including blue, champagne, and platinum. The cats have a compact body with a rounded head, large, expressive eyes in gold or yellow, and medium-sized ears that are rounded at the tips and tilt slightly forward. The coat is short and satiny. The traditional sable is a rich, warm brown, slightly lighter on the underbody. A kitten's coat darkens as it matures. Nose leather and paw pads are brown. A champagne-colored Burmese is a warm honey beige shading to a pale gold tan on the underside. Nose leather is a light warm brown and paw pads are a warm pinkish tan. Blue Burmese have a medium blue coat with a slightly lighter belly. Nose leather and paw pads are slate gray. Platinum Burmese are a pale silvery gray with light fawn undertones and a slightly lighter color on the underbody. The nose leather and paw pads are pretty lavender pink. Some associations permit other colors, including tortoiseshell, lilac, and red. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Like the Persian, the Himalayan is sweet, docile, and quiet. She is an ornament to any home where she can enjoy sitting in a lap, surely her rightful place, being petted by those who are discerning enough to recognize her superior qualities, and playing house with kind children who will gently comb her hair, will her around in a baby buggy, but not dress her up. Let her chase an interactive toy, then serve her tea at their parties. Himalayans are affectionate but discriminating. They reserve their attention for family members and those few guests whom they feel they can trust. Loud environments aren't a Himalayan style, they are sedate cats who prefer a serene home where little changes from day to day. With large, expressive eyes and a voice that has been described as soft, pleasant, and musical, Himis let their simple needs be known, regular meals, a little playtime with a catnip mouse or feather teaser, and lots of love which they return tenfold. This is one cat who is unlikely to climb up your curtains, jump on your kitchen counters, or perch on top of your refrigerator. She is perfectly happy to rule her domain from the floor or more accessible pieces of furniture. When you are at work or are busy around the house, the Himalayan is content to adorn a chair, sofa, or bed until you are free to admire her and give her the attention she willingly receives but never demands. The Burmese are energetic and friendly. He has the charm and determination of his Siamese ancestors and enjoys conversation as much as that breed, but his voice is soft and sweet, belying his tendency to run the household with an iron paw sheathed in velvety fur. He is highly intelligent and seeks out human companionship, so he's not best suited to a home where he will be left alone much of the day. If no humans will be around to engage his intellect, be sure he has the company of another pet. He gets along well with other cats and with dogs, but of course, another Burmese will be his best pal. The Burmese are about as curious as cats come. Expect him to explore your home thoroughly and know all of its nooks and crannies. He is playful and remains so into adulthood. 
tease his clever mind with interactive toys, and teach him tricks that will allow him to show off to an audience. Besides sit, roll over, wave, and come, he can learn to fetch a small toy or walk on a leash. With proper early conditioning, car rides and vet visits will be a breeze. A Burmese is a good choice if you don't object to complete loss of privacy. This cat will want to be involved in everything you do, from reading the newspaper and working at the computer to preparing meals and watching television. He will, of course, sleep on the bed with you and may even snuggle under the covers. When you are sitting down, he will be in your lap or right next to you, waiting expectantly to be petted. You will be scolded if you ignore him. Guests will receive his full attention, and it is likely that he will win over even those who claim to dislike cats. A female Burmese is the very definition of queenliness. She likes attention and she likes to be in charge. Males are more restful, satisfied to fill a lap. Whichever you choose, it's likely that you will soon find yourself yearning for another. The most important thing to understand about caring for a Himalayan is the need for daily grooming. That long, beautiful coat doesn't stay clean and tangle-free on its own. It must be gently but thoroughly combed every day, and regular bathing, at least once a month, is a good idea. The soft, short coat of the Burmese is easily cared for with weekly brushing or combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oil. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Like all cats, they are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep Himalayan and Burmese as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Himalayan and Burmese who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. Himalayans aren't the best choice for a house full of boisterous children and dogs, but they have no objection to being the object of a gentle child's attention or to rubbing along with a friendly dog who doesn't chase them or otherwise cause them anxiety. The active and social Burmese is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He lives peacefully with cats and dogs who respect his authority. Always introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.